some shark species practice cannibalism in utero.
group of consenting adults wants to perform cryptic rites to shadow forth the prophecy of the great old ones, <laughs> who am I to judge?
This protein supplement has zero additives, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hidden artificial colors or flavors. As a result of industrial pollution and sewage wastewater, Dead Horse Lake was designated a Superfund site in 1996. Sharks be here. Yeah, I could eat. Artists spent 16 years building this sculpture out of trash pulled from the lake, only to have it thrown back in the lake by intoxicated locals.
While being on land is fun, so is not being dead. Threats to our oceans seem overwhelming, but by working together now, we can ensure that future generations always have a place to dump their old time.
is running out for our shark. Hunters are on the water bringing their explosives and poor if Got a regular there from Ingo Joe's. He sets a tourist trade. But it's the only plate to get a decent Cesarec that don't have me on their do not serve list. of the Swampland, by you will it. are getting heated in this war of attrition between man and nature. The rogue shark must now be killed and publicly displayed to satisfy the city's thirst for revenge. can now be processed into a high-grade lubricant. Dead Horse Lake serves as a salient metaphor for human fallibility in the face of avoidable catastrophe.
Instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. Hunters hold a deep hatred of wildlife in their hearts. None more so than the shark. I see Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. That's it for now. Let's get back to base. Port Clovis has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. Probably a bad idea to get in the middle of Flamingo's natural migration cycles. Just saying.
Anyone who has delved into the stomach contents of a shark is acutely aware that they'll eat just about anything. nuclear cooling towers. This is a great opportunity for the shark to test the theory that exposure to gamma rays gives you superpowers. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. Whitehall-style rowboats, originally produced at Whitehall Street in New York City, were considered one of the most sophisticated designs of the 19th century. Shark Hunter's trust. 
to convince them we were not insurance investigators, questioning their disability claims. Shark's cartilage can now be exported to Hong Kong, Taiwan, Singapore, and other exotic ports of call. A water's murkiness or turbidity can significantly raise the risk of a shark attack.
know him from Adam. If he kill another fisherman, that's between them and him, yeah? I'd like to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit of our program. shark discover the miracle of self-love.
Although the barracuda isn't prized as a commercial fish by humans, bull sharks will eat just about anything. the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever. Shark is never one to pass up a fat fiesta. The needle tooth nightmare, the Barracuda. recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio staple, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. <laughs> 